leave this place, man. God damn. My mind's blown. Yep. <laughs>、oh, welcome back, folks.、Uh, more Ghost Recon Breakpoint beta or closed beta. Absolutely loving it.、Uh, and my gun's not showing up. Sick. Hello? Come on, man. Uh, folks, I've had the game. Sick. I think we're just gonna be shooting invisible weapons. Great stuff. Come on, man. I only just switched it all. I never received these bugs yesterday. Everything was going so smooth. Okay, no, my guns have loaded up now. I think they were loading up along with our pretty much 90% of the goddamn textures. Now, hopefully, you've been enjoying this because I certainly have. It's been a hell of a show. Honestly, I didn't expect it to be this good. Especially for going down the looter shooter way or route that they've、uh, decided to take. It's very impressive due to the fact that they've changed. They've made so many more mechanics better. They're smoothing things out. I'm still not a big fan of the running or the、uh, walking. It just gives me some division vibes. And some of it does give me some division vibes. I know you guys are going to go, but it's nothing like it. I'm saying division vibes. I'm not saying it's the same. It's two different whole games. But they decided to go for that looter shooter kind of way to build your character. They want you to build your character. They want you to grind, they want you to grind for something. Do not get bored because there are going to be some repetitive objectives, of course. In open worlds, there always is. And that's what makes an open world. You don't want it to feel too repetitive, but there always is going to be some repetitive stuff. And in Wildlands, we can all agree that there was getting kind of repetitive. And, but as still, it was never going to be boring. It was always going to be fun. I, I always address、uh, Wildlands as it's such an addicting game, because it is. It's, it can get really annoying at times and can get, it looks like it's going to get boring and repetitive, but then it's so addicting because the moment you stop playing, you're going to miss it because there's so many collectibles, there's very repetitive objectives, but amazing objectives because once, you, once you're doing them with your buddies, that communication kicks in and you know, and etc. You know it, folks. The point is, the point is, this one. They've made an integration with the、uh, looter shooter kind of vibe, the kind of style, so that you and your buddies can compare like, the builds that you have. And you can even get even more tactical and kind of squaddish. You can even more, get even more into that kind of team player base environment. Whereas in Wildlands, it was one thing I didn't like that you'd all have access to the same equipment right early on. Of course, after unlocking it with the skill points, but you could. Basically, pay to win, and I'm guessing there's going to be some sort of way of doing that in this game. But it feels more rewarding by unlocking certain classes and choosing that class and building your character level and gear level towards that kind of character, towards that kind of style for the team or for yourself if you're going at it solo way. You know, it's the fact that they made that into the looter shooter system by giving it different classes and different styles for you to. Just go around and create in your special character, making it feel more rewarding and more kind of tactical. Simple as that. They've integrated that looter shooter kind of system to make it more a team player based game and a much more, I say, joyful but grinding experience, you know? So、uh, I, I just I love the way they've done it. It's a good touch. And、uh, like I said, but I'm not a big fan of the running. I like the movement, I just don't like the way it's done. And obviously, my, to your, my other complaint, I mean, I'm getting really too picky here because my other complaint would be the free pointer that's in the menus. I'm really not a big fan of that. But apart from that, I'm really impressed with it all, and I've still got to experience more of it. So let's just continue. All right, let's mark these mother truckers down. Let's mark these clowns down so we know where they are. And、uh, we're going to be taking some sniper shots as I've not used a sniper yet. What the hell? Dude, are you all right? I love it when he does that. Sometimes he starts sneezing or he just starts coughing. Such an idiot. What a clown. Anyway, folks, hopefully you're enjoying it. Keep splashing that thumbs up because I really appreciate it. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And hopefully you enjoy your stay. Don't forget, my dad, in the description below, you have my discount code for Fate Grips if you would like some goddamn good experience whilst gaming. Then you got your goddamn grips for comfort and for tactical shooting. So you goddamn chooks. All right, let's do this. I think that's all of them. Wait, we got no, we got another clown over here. I swear I killed this guy. There's definitely another clown over there. Oh, there is. Oh, no. They have not popped back up, have they? There's a guy up 
the last crash site because when you log out of the game, it'll do what it, what happens in Wildlands that all of the enemies will just respawn. But we're going for the shot. Have another shot like this. Oh, the scope moves so much. And good shot. There you go. Okay. Let's keep this going. Wait. Did I get caught? Because obviously... I mean, he was surrounded by his buddies. Does that result in me getting caught? No, it doesn't. Okay. Bye-bye. Can we get a collateral, maybe? We don't have enough people to an area this big. No, you're right. Oh, I love this environment, folks. They've done a really nice job. This looks so smooth for a beta. They have no idea where I am. They can see the shots. No, you don't. You really freaking don't. Just shoot him. One more. Where are you going, bro? Where are you going? Get shooting. You knew, you thought you knew where I was, but you didn't. Oh, look at this water for a beta. This is looking nice. Holy smokies. Oh, man. Look at the animation when he runs in the water. We've never had that in Wildlands. I like this. It's so much smoother. It's like playing. Oh, man. This is, this feels good. I want to drive a vehicle. Got a vehicle there, folks. Oh, we got some scale tech points. And we got some gloves, boy. We got some 511 Tac A2 gloves. We'll put them now. We want their armor. Give me their armor. Yeah. All right, let's dismantle this baby. Oh, no, of course. This weapon is already equipped in a preset and cannot be dismantled, of course. I mean, once you... This, well, you have to change the preset, a current preset, which is part of the gloves. Once you can uh, change that preset, and by that, you need to collect other materials, should I say, other clothes or other cosmetic items which serve as armor and other, and armor, of course, so, uh, and protection. So once you have that, then you can absolutely, we'll go for the bike, actually. Then you can absolutely uh, dismantle the stuff that was originally in a preset. All right, we're going for the bike, let's drive. We're not allowed to drive? I was going to say, thank you. All right, it feels a bit more clunky-ish than Wildlands, the driving. I'm not a big fan of it right now. I could feel it straight off the bat. Do we have more... Clowns. I think we got more clowns here. We may have some contacts here. Indeed we do. Leave the bike. How did they not hear me? Well, 10 again. It's a game and it's far. And in Wildlands, same exact thing. Look at this environment they design. Do you know what it reminds me of? Black Flag for some reason. It's giving me some Black Flag. Listen to the sound effect. What? Well, it's like the uh, tropical environment. It's like uh, in Bolivia, the... Um, oh, what was it called? The Caimanes. The tropical jungle environment was amazing where they put the predator as well. That stuff was hot. Honestly, folks. Well, you're not wrong, mate. Your body, your body's gone, boy. What you gonna do? Hey, come on, show yourself. Hello? Alright, let's flank him. Where the hell is this mother truck? Where's this clown? Hello? Hey, that's survivors nearby. Don't let your guard down. I'm just trying to find out where you are. I love it, the automatic climbing system, where if you don't press it, it will automatically uh, mount up and climb. That's a good touch as well. There's so much good in this game. The environment is beautiful. They've done a really good job, folks. Did he just sponge a sniper bullet? All right, so I'm missing the easiest shot now. You love to see that. All right, dude, I'm coming for you, boy. Where the hell are you going? I I'm just, I'm blind. I'm freaking exposed. You are not wrong. You are exposed. Thank you, Jesus Christ! One guy. All right, scout tech credits. I think we oh we're two kilometers away. All right, let's get to it. We'll take the vehicle this time. A bit safer than the bike. Nice. Let's see how this drives. I didn't like the bike too much. It felt really clunky. 
We'll see how this drives. See change, lights, and obviously, of course, we've got the uh, look behind, which we had in Wildlands. Everything for the driving. They're probably moving things down in the, in the original, should I say, in the full game. But in this one, they've, uh, they've kept the same kind of mechanics, same kind of systems, but they've definitely, oh, we got, we got mother truckers on the left, right, right there. Got to be careful. Wow, look at this environment, folks. This is a beta, by the way, so, again, we don't know how much of this is going to be in a final game. Oh, this is driving real bad. I'm dead. I want to get out of the vehicle, Nomad. No, we don't. No, we don't. No, we don't. Keep looking. You're dead, shit bird. He's gotta be here. No, I'm not. What you talking about? Keep it chill, folks. Just keep it chilled. We're going for the throat. Uh, about there. Good shot. Oh, ho, ho. I thought I hit him. Wait, I must have. Good shot. Colby! How am I not hitting these? Where are you, bro? I just blew something up. I know that for sure. I love this cover-to-cover -cover system. Some division vibes I'm getting, folks. Oh, come on. There is someone here. It's about to get real. Wait, it's got on real, right? <laughs> I did get someone, by the way, with a grenade. It didn't give me the XP for some reason, but I did get someone. There was three of them, right? I only killed two. <laughs> Jokes. <laughs> Funny guy. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Here he is. Bye. My man got destroyed, or should I say, is that a woman? No, that's, that's a main. That's a main. That's a dude right there. Thank you for the ammo. Thank you, sir. Thank you, kindly. I'm going to take your car now. Ooh. Ooh, drone operator light vest. Do we, does it give us more, uh, um, what should I say, armor than it does now? Indeed, it does. We are wearing it and dismantling the drone operator light, uh, should I say, Black Hawk. I did think that the Black Hawk was better. Okay, it's a uh, current preset again, so we can't really change it. I'm loving this looter shooter system. It's so good. It just works for this world. And it's giving me some division vibes. And I totally love Division. I'm not talking about Division 2. I completely hated Division 2. I, f I just didn't think it was a good game. Division 1 for me was top notch. There was so many, of course, again, some loads, a lot wrong with that. There was so much wrong with it, but there was so much right. When there's too much right and, it, and me crashing the car because I'm an idiot. When there's too much right and a little bit wrong, I reckon it's a good game. You can't... I mean, I did complain about it, but... I completely played it and I went to end game and just destroyed it after end game. Who didn't? I mean, that, that game totally rocked. Oh, I'm not liking the driving. It's really clunky and really reactive. Uh, it's really sensitive. So every time you just touch like just the slightest to the right or to the left, the car completely turns and it's just, uh, yeah. I think that it's obviously not going to be, like I said, the mechanics and systems and lo like 90% of the game, it's not here. We have like not even 15% and it's still in the works. So, they're just taking in data, folks. So, where are we going? Is this like a HQ? Reach the other surviving ghost. Oh, just run over a goddamn... Is he dead? I'm sorry, dude. I didn't mean it. I did not mean it. Come on, mate. You ra Okay, first of all, what the hell were you doing in the middle of the road? Second of all... Oh, man, I feel so bad. He actually looks pretty good. Sorry, bro. I reckon he's just gone to sleep. He, I didn't completely run him over. Well, even though my back tire... Oh. Oh. Did we get to collect herbs? Did I just collect that? That's actually so sick. Oh, we got a heli. We got a heli for after, folks. You know what, you know what that means. That's heli time, baby. That's heli time, big baby. That is parachute time, big baby. Oh, yes, it is. All right, let's go in. Cross passage. Okay. Oh, this is sick. Stop right there. Who are you? I was invited. Who the hell are you? Another one. Another one. 
You can always turn around and go back down the mountain. Things are a little tense, you know? Just watch how you handle that weapon. We don't allow shooting in Erewhon. And what's Erewhon? The cave. So we call it. Get in. The way it plays out, the way they've adopted the systems of that looter shooter. Look at the animation of just standing still. He randomly kicks the ground. Sometimes he sneezes. It's just so real. It makes... Look at that. Touches his beard. We had that in Wildlands. Just not as... You know... I don't know. Realistic is the right word. Just not as, like, immersive. It just really feels something new. Like, they really worked hard on this. And I appreciate it. And it's a beta. How good is this? Like I said, there are just my, my complaints are very picky complaints. Where if you don't change them, I really don't care about if if they don't change the things I've said them. If you change them, then it's for the best, of course, because I really appreciate it. But obviously, I'm talking about the things I've mentioned, folks. So if you change the things I've mentioned, fine, I don't mind. But if you don't change them, it's not like I'm going to care because there's so much right of this game. There's so much going on that is so right of this game. Look at this. Look at the goddamn god reaction. Holy smokes. I'm just so impressed for a beta. That this gave me that division vibe. And I'm talking about division one vibe. Not the environment, not anything. The mechanics, the looter shooter systems. And the way. Hello, people. Hi, it's good to meet you. Or oh, maybe just walk past me. Okay, bye bye. This is HQ, folks. I knew it was. I mean, it did look like it when you go. What is this place? HQ, bro. Have you never played these type of games? In a looter shooter, it always is. Well, mostly, it's mostly in online games now. I mean, we had one in World War II in COD, in COD. So, I mean, it is so... It's just that kind of style. You, I think if you're going down that looter shooter system, you've got to have a HQ where you just go and resupply, go to the shop, meet up with your buddies. And they've done an amazing job with this HQ. If they, I mean, I'm hoping that 90% of this stays in the actual game. It's got to, I think, the environment as a whole, they're just going to make, like, little tweaks... Uh, and changes there and there, but I don't think they're gonna change uh, massively how the game looks or how it feels. They're just gonna make the uh, the bug fixes, or should we say the small fixes that you know the content creators right now are reviewing for them. Um, even us, small uh, YouTubers, small-time YouTubers that are just you know out there just trying to trying to get heard and actually helping out with the process of making a. a I could say perfect game, but nothing is ever perfect. But perfect game for the hardcore fans of this franchise, you know? So I'm just so impressed. Holy smokes. This is good stuff. You'll have to see it. All right, let's speak to the HQ uh, manager, I guess. Oh, boss. Boss Aroni. Hello. Talk. Are you boys all right or what? We're the only two left in our chalk. No radio, no drones. Between the two of us, we got two rifles and eight mags. Locals got water here. And some supplies. <sighs> Can you believe this place, man? God damn. My mind's blown. Yep. And they're friendly, more or less, but they're still keeping us on a short leash. <sighs> You boys know what took out our birds? No clue. But there are definitely hostiles out there. Tangled with some troops out there who were calling themselves wolves. You know who we're dealing with? Now you're dealing with me. You the one in charge here? Who's asking? My call sign's Nomad. I'm the officer in charge of this operation. By operation, I assume you mean the massively wild screw-up. Hey, old man. You playing nice? I'm just trying to find out why a bunch of grunts are falling from the sky into our laps, honey. Well, someone sank a naval cargo ship off the coast. Then the entire archipelago of Aro went dark. Now, we were sent here to figure out what happened. Next thing we know, the choppers were taken down. Almost half of my soldiers are dead. Best we can tell, there's some kind of military takeover. Sentinel, military contractors, they put this place under martial law. 
using the old boot in the neck technique to enforce it. Skeltech is still making all the high tech stuff they always make. Except maybe now they're making more weapons. Not exactly the libertarian utopia J. Skell advertised. Where can I find J. Skell? Ah, uh, the head of Skeltech himself. Mm. We haven't seen him, but his drones are keeping an eye on his islands. So you think he's still a part of this? I'm just not sure why. All right. Well, I'll put figuring it out on my to-do list. For now, can I see our wounded? Yeah. One of your guys needs to rest, but he won't shut up. Calm him down, yeah? And then come find me. I'll give you the guided tour. Nice. Sick. We get a guided tour of the HQ, folks. Guided tour. <sighs> LMG compensator. Thank you. Well, I don't need it because I don't use LMGs. So, one of our guys which is still alive is in the Erewhon Infirmary. So, Mount Hogson, view. Let me go and have a look. Got some assault rifle action. This is weapons. Objectives board. Handguns. This is obviously blueprints. Alright, nice. A weapons attachment. Attachment objectives. What the hell is this? Energy compensator in the southern part of the Fembog province. Uh, and the Fembog testing zone, southeast of the precipice falls. Reduces vertical recoil, bigger muzzle flash. And obviously you can pin it down and replace, but these are objectives because of this. Uh, they basically kept the same mechanical wildlands of, you know, letting you find the weapons around, as we can see in the intro, you know, it's caches or in boxes around the map. But you got to find them yourself and you also find them on guards. You can pick up whatever you want. They've kept that same mechanic. But of course, there are different weapon levels that you can... It's no longer tiers, it's genuine weapon levels that will get your build or your character build increased to another level. That's pretty sick, I like that. Alright, cool. So everything will increase your character level build at the end of the day. So you're basically working to grind a bigger and better character by finding good weapons around. And I'm liking the tunes, by the way. Sorry, I was just quickly listening. That's pretty sick. Well, wow, people are looking goddamn strong. Look at that. Love to see it. All right, let's calm my boy down. I don't know if I'm correct, but that's Holt. That's one of the OG ghosts. I think the original three or the original four OG ghosts, uh, some of them are dead. Or one of them at least is lost. We know Weaver is definitely dead. And that completely destroyed me. Uh, when Weaver died, when Walker shot him down, that shit was just... That was heavy. Uh, and Nomad is left, and of course, Holt is here. So Weaver is dead, and another one is missing. I don't, I don't remember the other one's name, but... Holt. Oh. Hey. How are you, man? <sighs> Nomad. Who's left? Who made it? Hey, you just relax, pal. I'm doing what I can. You damn superhero. Here. Here's another superpower. I can't find Midas. But Weaver... Just relax, bro. We'll take care of it, all right? And the wasp. Yeah. And with the comms blackout, I can't reach the ship. But I'll talk to Mad Shells, the big guy. He might have a boat I can use. Don't you worry. I'll come back with some help. Go. Dude, I can't believe that Weaver's dead as well. What do we get? Eagles down, mission complete, reach Heron. Okay, sick. Uh, fitness ra uh, ration basic, dexterity ration basic. Syringe mark, wow, we gained Intel Grenade. Oh my goodness. Intel Grenade, of course, obviously it says it in the name. It's Intel, you throw it out and uh, basically playing for information. And you got your, you got your info on the map, and obviously you'll have, uh, I think you either get like a sensor reading on the 
radar, or you get like a pretty much wall hacking sensor reading on the actual screen. You'll be able to see where your enemies are through walls. Uh, from guessing that's amazing stuff in uh, item will equipment continue now we've got all of this equipment we definitely got a lot let's go objectives board weapons we've got one uh, we've got one weapon objective now that we can uh, go to on the map we'll probably explore the map a little bit by doing some weapon objectives folks we'll probably do that in uh, in a few seconds if uh, it lets us go out into the world again after having explored the HQ we'll probably get a heli and uh, explore a little bit of the map, free roam around, jump out of the helicopter, of course, because uh, we want to get some parachute in action. God damn it. And act like a goddamn clown. All right, investigations. Let's have a look. Oh, there you go. Is Midas still alive? Midas, that's the name. We sank the US military ship. Yep, makes sense. That's so sick. The fact that we added all of these little things, keep them in there, it just makes the game so much more immersive. God damn. So we've got investigation now. We've got the collectibles just like in uh, Wildlands. And then we've got the weapon objectives, which are basically the weapons are marked down on the map, but only that you have to follow a certain objective route and by telling you the directions or whereabouts it is on the map and uh, making you actually look for it, which is good thing. It's a very good mechanic because it's just it doesn't give you everything right at the start you know i mean it's no pay to win anymore which that's fair enough makes sense i mean we could you could just buy all the goddamn weapons in wildlands if you remember but i'm loving that division feeling i'm loving the fact that you're getting to build your character the, you know you're getting to compare your character with your buddies when playing in the team and you know helping the team you can even be the team medic you can have these different these different uh class methods and tactics that you guys can employ as a team just like in division and you could have done it of course in wildlands but there was no class to it there was no scope or objective to it because you everybody could have the same thing or everybody of course you could still do it here but the fact that they've just created and you know pretty much crafted these glasses it makes it feel like they've uh, that you're actually doing something rewarding for you and your team so it I, mean, I think they just developed on the mechanics they set and the foundations they laid uh, in Wildlands, I guess. I mean, that's what it looks like anyway. I think they've done a great job on it. So, Leader of the Wolves, obviously, we know it's called the Walker. Jay Scales, the CEO of Skeltech. And we've got the one Operation Greenstone. We've got the one main mission now, which would be uh, Ghost Recon Covert Missions and then find a way off the island, which, yeah. We need to find a boat, basically. I forgot Midas was part of the OG Ghost. So is Midas dead? I'm really curious now. How are we going to find out? Uh, so discover Bivouax. See tutorial. Okay, so discovering Bivouax. Unlock new Bivouax spots by observing them with your binoculars or drone. So I'm guessing these are like fast travel points and maybe like camps. Or different camps, just like this HQ. Or maybe like a mini version of it. You can fast travel to any Bivouac you have discovered. Okay, yeah, they're fast travel points. And then you can uh, access various preparations that give you unique buffs. So I'm guessing like cocktails or giving me again division vibes, folks. So we got like, uh, what's that? Like, oh, that's why you pick up the herbs to get like unique buffs. That's pretty sick. So you can uh, make different kind of cocktails that will boost your energy or I'm guessing boost your stamina, uh, health or even uh, aim, I'm guessing. Just like in any looter shooter, we got some, uh, or any RPG open worlds. We even got, well, we didn't apply them in Wildlands, but most open worlds now, well, I've said now, but usually open worlds, linear or closed open worlds, always employ some methods to uh, aid you in tough situations of character boosts. The typical uh, cocktail, herb, herbology methods to create, to increase character statistics by uh, creating different kind of cocktails from, uh, with different materials and herbs around the, and herbology collectors around the map. I mean, they're in open worlds and I think they're a must in some looter shooters such as this. They're definitely a must. You have to have them. You have to include them. All right. Let's go talk to this guy, to the boss of Brony. So find the way off the island. New mission. Uh, and then we got the side mission, Ghost of the Past. I'm going to do the side mission because I want to get my XP up and get some new weapons, folks. And then we'll do the find a way off the island. No man. How are you? I'm missing the comforts of home. Otherwise, not bad. Don't let those comforts control you. Listen, I've been tied up with some personal business, so I was hoping you would do me a favor. Sure. What's up? Rumor has it some old dog tags turned up just west of Howard Port. The fellow who discovered them said he found them on a skeleton out in the woods by a bombed-out old jeep. He didn't want to disturb the remains out of respect. Thing is, I think they belong to a Cold War buddy of mine. Cal was a 
good soldier and an even better friend. He saved my life half a dozen times. Sad we lost touch over the years, and... Well, I'd just really like to know what happened. Yeah, I get it. We've both buried our share of friends. I'll check it out. I suggest searching just north of Grove's Pond. Shouldn't be too tough to find. It's near Gordon Slough over in the Sinking Country province. I'm on it. Love again how they've made and crafted these little in-character dialogue choices where you have the choice of whether you want to do the side mission, main mission, or, or discuss just general uh, a general conversation sure with one of the main protagonists or main characters of the game. Oh, that's so sick. Wait, wait, what is this guy? What the hell is this? Can you talk to her? Oh, there's so much going on. I'm not gonna hurt you. That's a new side mission. Yeah, we'll we'll do it. See this? I love these kind of menus. The fact that you can interact with different uh, folks around in this uh, cave with different people, uh, if, or the boss even, and they'll have different side missions ready for you. They don't just get give it out there as an NPC, but the NPCs are actually really interactive in this game because they play a huge part in giving you and handing out these side missions that you can choose whether to do them. You can even stop now and just walk away if you don't want to do the one man's hell new mission. Very interactive, and it works so seamlessly, giving you that choice uh, and still keeping up with the story concept and the uh, immersion of the game. Enough, it doesn't feel disrupt uh, disruptive or, uh, you know, like you're interrupting your your current vibe, you're interrupting your current uh, your current grind or uh, experience. If you want to just go out there and explore, you can just stop and get out of there. It's not forcing you to have an objective, an extra objective on the, you know, already pinned missions in the left-hand corner in the menu. It's not putting in a lot of things on the plate, it's putting just enough on the plate. And you can choose whether you want things on your plate. It's so sick. So here. your shoulders never feel heavy. Some kind of problem? We're not sure. Our friend Samuel's missing. You a homesteader? Yeah, he used to be. Before he decided he'd rather live by himself. No great loss, if you ask me. He likes catching his own food. Says it keeps him closer to nature or something like that. And then he gives the. No, man, you don't even look at her when she's speaking. Him. Never takes any. Goddamn clown. I don't get it. Sounds like he knows how to take care of himself. Last week. He was down here hollering about running into a bunch of sentinels on his land. They said they carried away a couple of deer he caught, smashed up his traps, and then... This week? Nothing. Samuel's always had a temper, but in this place, these days, you say the wrong thing to the wrong person... Well, you know. Yeah, I know. Say, where are his usual stomping grounds? He's typically around... To the southeast of Garden Mangrove, northeastern part of Gairon. I'll see if I can find him. Thanks. Thanks. See you around. All right, that's sick. So, guys, I'm I'm accessing or interacting with different individuals. Want to explore this uh, amazing cave HQ? This amazing goddamn cave HQ. What the hell have they designed? I didn't expect this to be a HQ. It was so well designed, so interactive, but yet so cozy. I mean, usually the HQ feels, oh, we're great. This is where I pretty much interact with my buddies. This is where I uh, I just chill with my buddies. I'm not a big fan of the textures not loading up on this part of the cave, but obviously it's a beta. Uh, so not really, I'm not really going to complain about stupid things like that. But even though I just did, because I'm an idiot. But uh, what I was saying is... Oh, that soundtrack randomly stopped. I love that. I love the fact that they designed such an environment for you to interact with your buddies and feel so at home. You know, this actually feels so good. I mean, usually HQs, yeah, great, I get to interact with my buddy. This looks pretty good. It looks interactive. But it never gives you that warm home feeling of actually being... This makes me feel like I'm in a goddamn tropical jungle. It's so well designed. And it's so... Oh, the visuals on it. It's just... Please do not change anything from this. Apart from making it better if you can. Just moving things out. But this, this just... Oh, it makes you feel... Like playing the game even more. The fact, look at that. The fact that they're surviving what they have. They've got generators up everywhere, pretty much. The touches on this are amazing. Got the tunes in the background. You got like the bar area where everybody can chill out. You'll have obviously your emoticons to play around with. It's just so much of it that's right. 
I can see when companies go the extra mile that what they design, I mean, HQ this detailed, that makes you feel like a home away from home. I, I just love things like this, especially the fact they've added, like, do you see the generators? Everybody's running on generators. They're running on what they can because the island has been overtaken or, uh, you know, it's been overrun by a goddamn scout technology militia, uh, which is Walker's, you know, Walker's crew. And it's just, oh, it's just so fun. I'm just loving this. I'm blabbing about this so much. All right. Let's see. Let's just keep exploring this cave real quick. I like this. What's this, like a campfire? Rest in bivouac. Deploying bivouac. Wow, that's actually pretty sick. I'm not going to lie. That's actually pretty lit. Get to take off your bag. Holy smokes. So join and invite players, preparation, tactics, crafts, and garage. Holy smokes. That is not happening right now. Come on, man. So you got the garage. Go to uh, everyone to buy a vehicle. I'm not going to go to everyone. Oh, look at the animation. Whilst you're actually resting, you'll have like a side animation. That's so sick. What's this? And obviously, I have uh, people online over there. Syringe. You can now... So you can use collective resources to craft supported uh, su support items, offensive equipment, or rations. Okay. Offensive equipment and rations. Okay, each recipe requires items for specific categories of resources. Of course, we just talked about it. You want to buff yourself up. You're going to need... Jesus, why are you straining, Nomad? I click on the recipe to select it. And I think we're maxed out on everything, but you get to craft all of these kind of things. Uh, fitness, ration, basic. Proteins, basic. That's pretty sick. St minus 20% stamina cost. Nutritive combat ration to consume, uh, to gain a temporary buff. And again, you see, you get to craft these kind of fitness rations or endurance rations, which are your usual cocktail within an open world or a, uh, or a fr again, a looter shooter. And I, like, like I said before, it's definite, it's a definite must when you're, when you're employing these systems within a looter shooter or an open world the way they did. I'm not going to, how much have I got? Protein space, I've only got one. There's no point of crafting anything, folks. I'm just such a big fan of this. It's so sick. So we got the panther here. This way you can change your class and change it up your tactics pretty much. Uh, and go for different strategies and pretty much go for your kind of play, folks. This way you select your style of play, your preferred style of play. And obviously you can do this on the menus, but if you want to just sit down, relax and rest your character and enjoy some smooth animations around the campfire and tell your buddies a few stories, then you can definitely... Have a good old change about of classes, weapons, uh, cosmetic items which serve as protection and of course gear and uh, weapon level, or should I say gear armor level and you're pretty much overall level. And obviously you've got a field medic, sharpshooter, assault and I'm using the panther because I'm goddamn stealthy. And of course if you're playing with a full team folks, with four players, you're going to have to go for different styles, Everybody, you're going to have to decide your tactics, decide everybody who's going to be what and play tactically. Because this game is a goddamn war zone. Preparations. On preparations, what's this? Each time you, you come to a bivouac, you can spend time doing an activity that will give you a temporary buff. That's pretty sick. You can get one of six types of buffs, switch between them at any time in the bivouac. I just pressed on one by mistake. That was this. I think I'm eating something. Indeed I ain't. We're hungry. Oh, you just have one bite? That's a waste, nomad. Eaten. Injury resistance for 60 minutes. That's so sick. Buff updated. You love to see that. So in the preparations category, you can choose one of six preparations. You can hydrate, tech review, stretch in, weapon review resources to give you temporary buffs on certain categories of your character uh, statistics. That's so sick. Resources. We'll go for resources. Let's see the different animations. I'm just a big fan of this shit, folks. This is so sick. Holy smokes. Love it. Oh, you can you can change. I just want to see the different uh, animations, folks. Hence why I'm doing it. We'll go for them. Hydration. Fatigue resistance. 50%. Holy smokes. Lit. Love to see it. Love to goddamn see it. Do you know what? It's the sound effects that does the, that does the trick for me. It's the sound effects that definitely is the top notch there. Because it, it feels so real. It feels like you're actually doing it. And it's not just a game. You you know, oh, man. It's so hard to explain. This is so sick. We'll go for tech review. I want to see this shit. Oh, 
Holy spokes. Listen to the sound effects while he's actually going at it with a goddamn midi screwdriver. All right, tech is being reviewed. Drone range. Love to see it. So now we've got the drone because uh, Holt gave it to us, I think. I think we'll be able to. Oh, we'll do some stretching. Let's see. Increase stamina. I was actually expecting a more professional. Uh, okay. I was expecting a more professional approach to it. Not just, you know, just cracking your goddamn neck. Nomad, I was actually expecting you standing up doing some goddamn quadriceps stretch. Hamstrings, you're gonna be running, boy. Alright. Off to Z. Preparations. Get back with preparations. Weapon review. I wanna see this shit. He's probably gonna reload, uh, take the weapon apart, maybe. Uh, clean out the mag or something. I don't know. Clean out the. Oh, he just maybe looks at it. Yup. These are just mini animations. I just over freaking exaggerated there with uh, what I was expecting. Wow, that was disappointing for me. Well, what we're going to do, preparations, we'll probably leave it uh, at uh, eating. We'll eat some for injury resistance, fatigue resistance, roam range, stamina, XP bonus. I might do XP bonus so we get to uh, stretch and stamina, drain, fatigue resistance. I'm going to go with fatigue. Yeah, we'll go for hydration. Love to see it. Yeah. Wow, and this is a freaking beta, folks. All right, let's go back. Uh, garage, craft, and we get to go back now. Join and invite players. Break camp. Uh, when do you want to leave? Oh, we can actually choose an hour. You can actually sleep or just set a time from when you want to leave this camp and look at the animations and cutscenes that you have whilst waiting for this. It's so sick. Come on, mate. This is lit. All right, set for a side mission and we'll end it there, folks. And we'll just continue playing. This is too good. Way too good. Let's go to the shop. Let's see what she got for us. See the shop? Discuss. We'll discuss something. Why not? Situation in a rower. Uh, local currency. I'm going to go with uh, situation in a rower. I need to be brought up to speed on the situation here. Hell, I don't know much. We try to stay away from what goes on on the other side of the island. But lately, things have just gotten so you can't ignore it anymore. What's been happening? Try to remember every detail you can. Let's see. I guess it all started when the Skell headquarters was bombed. After that, everything changed. They brought in the security company, Sentinel. They were supposed to keep everything safe. But then it all went to shit. You mean Skell went missing? Missing? They said terrorists kidnapped him. You believe that? Hell no. They're making all that stuff up. Why would they do that? I have no idea. The only thing I can say for sure is ever since he went missing, Sentinel got a lot more aggressive. They're looking everywhere for Skell. They want him bad. All right, we'll go for the local currency. I want to know everything. I want to try and... You know, get to know everything before the game comes out, folks. Obviously, it's everything's going to be different. So, I want to see the differences in animations and cutscenes and different dialogues, even if it's something small as this. And what can and what will be changed in the full and final version of the game? So that's why I'm doing as much as I can. I was going to say I did say I wasn't going to reveal as much of it as I, uh, you know, as I thought. But this is way too good to not reveal it. It's way too good for me to stop playing because I'm freaking loving this, and uh, I just want to reveal as much of it as I can. Listen, I'm going to need to gear up, but I didn't exactly bring much cash on this trip. If you're asking for money, I can't help you. Wish I could, but look, I need to buy my stock and with things as they are. Don't worry, I'll find a way to get what I need. Just tell me what people use to buy things on Aurora. Well, the good news is everyone takes American dollars and New Zealand dollars. But they're pretty rare. Most people use something called Screds. It's some kind of computer money Skeltech came up with. Cryptocurrency, I think they call it. You can buy things with it just like regular money. Bunch of hooey, if you ask me. What do I need to access it? Oh, it's everywhere. It's virtual, you see? You can find it on just about any computer, or cell phones, or data pads. Hell, even the drones and relay antennas can get them. 
they're floating all around in signals or some such thing. Well, then I guess I'll be making some withdrawals. Indeed. I'm just happy with the location they've come up with, this kind of fiction location, this uh, made-up Aroa has been, I think this island has been the top of its imagination and creativity from uh, Ubisoft. I like this so much. It's just a whole different world and we're kind of escaping reality with this island. I like it. Goodbye. I'll see you around. You be safe out there. Yes, ma'am. I'll see you around. Wow. I'm actually so impressed in this uh, in-game location. All right, we uh, just explore the camp. We explored the the shop and spoke to the lady, which is, I guess, the boss Ronis wife. Let's talk to this guy. PVP war. Do we? Oh, can we actually play Ghost War? Discuss PVP Ghost War. We'll go for discuss. Speak to this guy. We haven't even met him. Uh, fighting wolves, military boss, settling in Aurora. I'm gonna go with uh, fighting wolves. Go for the first question. I love these different dialogues. I love the touch on the different choices you can do. Again, uh, so much stuff that's right in this game for so so far, and it's only a beta. I'm loving this. You're a little far from home, aren't you? I'm here on work. This is no vacation. You don't look like the typical tourist. In fact. You look like you have a little bit of soldier in you. Well, what's your story? I came here looking for a little peace. Instead, I found the wolves. It sounds like we have a common enemy. What can you tell me about them? I've been doing recon on those pricks for months now. They're different than regular Sentinel. They're more like you. They're highly specialized. They work in small teams and they're lethal. They got their own off-sites all to themselves. They hardly ever leave. They just train. I'll have to pay them a visit. <laughs> what? You got a death wish? You can't fight them alone. They're too good. You'll need a full team to take them on. Can I count you in? <laughs> like I said, I came here looking for peace. But that doesn't mean I can't tell you where to find a fight. Let me know when you're ready. You'll need a team, so... Either bring your own, or I'll help you find one. Then I'll show you where to find the wolves' current offsite, and you can get down to business. I love how I love that touch. How they're making it all to kind of again following kind of a storyline, but at the end of the day, he just told you that he's the guy that you go for a PvP war. And of course, if you want some PVE action, and you want and you want to find a matchmaking team, he can he can hook you up pretty much. He can help you out in, in finding some buddies to play with. But he uh, he melted it in between the lines saying, Look, man, I'm part of the story too. This is the HQ. I'm going to help you out. But he said it so freaking fine that it's so t it's just so collided with the story. It's so combined. Like, you don't even... You wouldn't have noticed. Oh, this guy's the... Yeah, this is... Guy, obviously, it would say it's where the PvP Ghost War is at, but... There's a storyline behind it. They're not making it, oh, this is where you go for PvP Ghost War. No, they're making it interactive and immersive for you to actually enjoy that open world experience. I love this shit. Thank you. Military past. Rowan, you got a little military in you. I guess I still look the part. Hard to wash that stink off, huh? Tell me about it. Who were you with? Army, 10th Mountain. Good. That ought to come in handy. Can't tell who you're with, though. I'd call that a non-standard uniform. We need deniability sometimes. And honestly, I wear what's comfortable. It let us get away with a lot. Ah, you're one of those people. I guess I am. Reckon you uh, can't tell me the name of your unit. I could, but... You'd have to kill me. Right. So, where were you before? Uh, we can, oh, wow, wow, we can actually decide, that's so sick, so this is the amount of option it gives you, so we can actually, uh, secret squirrel shit, sorry, <laughs> we can actually, this is amazing because, uh, we can decide our own story for our own nomad, for our own character, so every story is different, obviously, the choices you have, have no effect or impact on the, uh, on the world, and I know this for a fact, they've confirmed this many times, but they give you, like, an insight of what your story can be, they make it kind of feel personal, and it makes you feel like you're connected with your character, even though it's a looter shooter open world. They kind of make you, uh, they make you feel like you're part of that character. They make you feel like you're the actual character and you're building him, 
in and out of the storyline. So out of the storyline would be building your character to the best of its abilities, skill-wise and, and gear-wise. So I, as usual, you're building your character to the way you want him and to the set you want him in, like the, the different class type. And then you're building in dialogue and in story type-wise. So you're, you're building a story behind him. Now I can choose Delta Force, Seal, Rangers. It, it, wouldn't, it wouldn't matter any choice I would go for, but there's a story behind it that you can keep in your head and just, you know, just immerse yourself inside of it and it just feels better. I mean, that's what games are like, right? To escape reality, and this is what they're going for. It's pretty sick. I like it. Rangers, Delta Force, Seal, Marine. I'm going to go for Marine, Swift, Silent, Deadly, because that's just me, folks. You know, Stealth Master. You know what I'm saying? Come on, mate. Marine Force Recon. Come on. Second four, Contolo 6. Then I help stand up, Marsoc. A Marine, huh? Shit. I fought with you guys in Afghanistan back in 05. Tough bastards. I was there in 05, up in the Karengo. Well, I'm glad you're here now. Wish I could say the same. Come on. I never met a Marine who wasn't up for a good fight. Oh, you bet. Actually, I'm messing with you. I'm going to go with uh, you bet. Why would I go with I'm messing with you? It's kind of pointless. Yeah, let's go. You mean you never met a Marine that couldn't win a good fight? There's going to be a lot of fighting to do before this thing is over. Then we'll just have to improvise, adapt, and overcome. Exactly that. Adapt and overcome like I know anything about that. Come on, mate. Uh, yeah, we'll see how he's settling in this place. So, Rowan, how is it that you settled here on Aroa? Ah, uh, you know, classic stuff. Came to the island, found peace, didn't mind the neighbors until they pulled out the killer drones. The usual. And I guess that's it. Goodbye, brother. I'll see you later. Cool. The battlefield will need more blood. Makes the green grass grow, right? All right, pretty sick. Uh, that was actually pretty sick. Wait, can we talk to him about PvP Ghost War? Does that let, does that let us play right now? Let's check it out. Holy smokes, wait a second. Raid operations in preparation. PvP Ghost War. Let's check this out. I don't think it'll let us play it. Stupid. If it does, yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, it's not in the game. I was going to say it's a beta. PvP. So this is where you'll access the PvP Ghost War. That's pretty sick. Uh, I think we've explored everything. We're going to keep this episode to this, pretty much, folks. I'm not going to do the side missions. I just wanted to access... Look, it's nighttime. Just notice. It's so nice. Holy smokes. Why does this look amazing? Of course, I don't like the textures outside of this HQ, but again, it's a beta. Pointless complaining. Wow, look at that, folks. That's so amazing. I'm just astonished. I'm just astonished. A suit observation there, my friend, Salve. Absolutely noticed it was freaking... I noticed it was nighttime after, like, goddamn five minutes. Wow. I think we explored the whole of the HQ. I know there's something... Oh, no, that's the exit. This, I would just chill here. I would big chill here the whole game. This place is lit. Holy smokes. I'd generally just, just chill here the whole, the whole game. Just big chill. Go to the shop. I'll go for a run around. Chill the campfire. Go to sleep, hydrate, just watch the animations over and over again. It's just so sick. All right, folks, we're just going to end it there. I just wanted to explore the HQ. I wanted to explore as well as much as I could within dialogue and outside of dialogue to get an insight on what the game is going to be like. Because, of course, they're going to change, I think, a lot of this on the original, on the official release and, you know, on the full game. So we don't know how much, uh, how much of it is going to be different. So that's why I'm trying to see and so we can compare when I'm going to be releasing all of them in the same playlist. You guys can compare the differences or if they've made things better or worse. I'm guessing they're going to listen to the fans and make things better, especially for the way they did and taking the route they did for that looter shooter kind of systems and making it as well with a very interactive and immersive open world to keep that storyline very true and very uh, real at the same time whilst building your character, making you feel like you're actually part of that uh, part of that storyline as well. It's so sick. I think they've done a good a good job so far, and it's a beta, so... On the, on the real game is going to be amazing. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed it. Keep smashing a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. So I really appreciate it. And, of course, hopefully you're enjoying the content. And hopefully you enjoy your stay. God damn it. And, of course, don't forget, in the description below, you have my discount code for fade grips for some controller grips. Don't forget, I got your back. I'll hook you up just like the guy that hooked us up for the PvP. And I'll see you in the next episode.